Sometimes you might want to turn a screenshot of a UI into functional code, but depending on the complexity, it can take hours or even days to do this manually. In this video, I will show you how to turn a screenshot into working code in minutes with Cursor. There are two secrets to doing this, which I will share with you in a moment. Now I have a basic Wheat React project scaffolded with Tailwind CSS and Framer Motion. Within the source folder, I've created a prompts folder that contains a prompt file for Cursor to use. This file basically tells Cursor what to do when going from screenshot to code. I will leave a link to the prompt file in the description, but for now, let me briefly go over what it does. First, it instructs Cursor to analyze the screenshot. Take note of the layout, colors, typography, etc. Next, it prompts Cursor to plan the component structure, break down the design into smaller reusable components. Then, it tells Cursor to implement the basic layout, use semantic HTML elements where appropriate. Next, it tells Cursor to style with Tailwind CSS, and if necessary, use Framer Motion for animation. Next, it tells Cursor to implement any additional instructions that are specified outside of the prompt file. Then, it prompts Cursor to test the code to make sure there are no errors. And finally, it prompts Cursor to include comments in the code to explain complex logic or animations. This is the first secret. Trust me, a really good prompt can make a huge difference. The second secret is to not use Cursor's Composer feature, but to use Cursor's Chat feature. If I open Composer with Command I, attach an image for a pricing section, and ask, Are you able to analyze the attached image without any context? You can see the reply, I can't analyze images directly. If you describe the image or provide the relevant details, I can help with that. However, if I open chat, so command L and ask the same question with the screenshot attached, are you able to analyze the attached image? I get a reply that describes the image. The image is pricing section for ChatGPT, as I already mentioned. We have free and plus tiers, which we can see a free plan and a plus plan. So the second secret is to use chat instead of composer, at least as of this recording. All right, now that you know the secrets, let's try it out. I'm going to open a new chat and with the markdown file in context, which is screenshot to code.md, I'm also going to add at folders and specify source for context. I will then attach the screenshot and simply type the instruction. Go ahead and convert the screenshot to code. Cursor will start generating the code. Unlike Composer, chat cannot write to a new file. So I'm going to copy, create a new file called pricing.tsx as indicated, and paste the code. Next, I will copy app.tsx code and paste it in app.tsx. Step three is to ensure Tailwind CSS is configured and I can confirm it is. We have Framer Motion also installed. If we now head back to the browser, you can see we have the pricing section. The result is of course not pixel perfect, but it is pretty close from a structure point of view. But once you have the code in place, we can now open the file in Cursor's Composer, and what you enter in the Composer is only limited by your imagination. As you can see, we have gone from a screenshot to a working user interface in under two minutes. This, if you ask me, is pretty incredible. I will leave a link to the prompt file in the description so you can use it as a starting point for your own projects. 
If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more videos where I show you how to improve your productivity with Cursor. If you have any questions or suggestions for what mini app to build next, please leave a comment.